Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to make crankbaits. All you need is a belt sander, a coping saw, and lips, diving lips. You can get these off of Jan's Netcraft, and um, they're pretty cheap, so here we go. For my wood, I use cedar. Alright, the first step, take your lure blank right here, put it on the wood, and trace it with a pencil. You can make your own lure blanks. I did. And here's the shape I want it to be like. Now that I got it traced onto my wood, can go over to the vise. The wood's in the vise and all I have to do is cut out the sh basic shape with the coping saw. The lure has its basic shape and all we have to do is mark the the slot for the lip and then cut it out with a hacksaw. You should always do this step before you start sanding because you don't want your lure lip to be crooked. There's X marks and all we have to do is cut it out with a hacksaw. Here's the lip slot. Now we have to sand it down. Shave the belly. Now that the eye holes are drilled out, all we got to do is paint it. When I paint, start off with a white base coat and then move to my next colors. Alright, now I'm going to my next color which is blue. Now it's time for the scales and I use this mesh to make the scales and just spray it on there with the airbrush and it'll kind of give that pattern to it. There's the scales. Now all I have to do is dip it in this Minwax polyacrylic and it gives it a protective coating and a nice shine. I dip my lures twice. Here's the finished product. Sorry I couldn't show you all those other steps. My camera kind of messed up or whatever. But to glue the lip in, I use this 5 minute epoxy and just put it on the lip and then slid it in. And then I use um, this super glue to glue into the eyes in. And then I just put the uh, eye screws and split rings and treble hooks on, and then it's finished. If you have any more questions about how to make this, feel free to comment. And um, thank you.